Hello, Cancer. Rambling Mike here. Come play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time. That I do. Thanks for all your likes, all your subscribes. Thanks for clicking that view button. I figured I'd share one with you. Hope you enjoy it. Definitely want to thank all my cancers that have blessed me with donations. Many of you. So very kind of you, my friends. Appreciate them all, large or small. Cancer, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. Big shout out. Thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Ramblin' Nation is a membership channel that I have here on YouTube. Uh, every Wednesday night, do live broadcasts with members of Ramblin' Nation. Give away 14 or 15 tarot decks every month to members. Also give away lots of t-shirts, 50 plus t-shirts a month to members of Rambo Nation. And anymore, I'm giving away four free readings from me every month to members of Rambo Nation. We do those drawings on Saturday. Every Saturday we do a live broadcast and one of the prizes that we draw for on Saturday uh, will be a free reading with me. Also on Saturdays, I like to teach on tarot and all that fun stuff. And we just have fun over there on Saturday nights and Sundays, every Sunday, Sunday, fun day at Ramblin' Nation. We do share uh, those Sunday fun days with the collective two a month. And uh, uh, this uh, Sunday coming up, if you're watching this just as this comes out on Thursday, this Sunday coming up is a collective Sunday fun day. I'll see many of you on Sunday night. If you've been thinking about becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation, love to have you. You know, it's really the family over there that's the best perk of it all. They're an amazing group of people. Join buttons right down beside the subscription button. I'll see many of you Wednesdays, Saturdays, and many, many Sundays. All right, I definitely want to give a shout out uh, to one of my readers. Well, all of my readers over here at DivinelyLoveTarot.com. Thank you for all your support over there. Um, uh, all my astrologers and tarot readers. I have a... Uh, everybody's uh, going to be putting together something special to offer to my friends here. Um, this is Denise, Denise Fulch, F-O-L-C-H. Denise has put together a meditation class for us, six-week course on guided meditation. Uh, absolutely looks am amazing, has an amazing price. So if you'd like to learn more about meditation, Denise is putting together a uh, nice meditation uh, program for us for the next six weeks. You can find out more about it over there at divinelylovetarot.com or my team always puts up stuff uh, in my community post. So keep your eyes open for all kinds of specials that my people are coming up with uh, for you to bless you. And Denise uh, has put together an amazing meditation course that I wanted to share with you guys. All right. Thanks for giving me a minute right there, Sagittarius. Let's take a little look-see at love around here for Sagittarius, huh? Really interesting energies right now at this particular point in time. Uh, we're in the right in the middle of this old 19-year cycle that I read about a couple places and some astrology stuff I've been reading. Taking a look right now, you know, right in the middle of 2021 um, about uh, what love has been like for us for the past 19 years. And, you know, a lot of us are detaching from all that right there and setting our intentions on what we do want to manifest over the next 19 years with love. That's how we do things. You know, we, we, we really don't know what we don't or what we do want until we know what we don't want. A lot of us know what we don't want anymore, huh, Cancer? <laughs> so... I don't see anybody putting any pressure on anything, although it could be fun right now. As Mars and Venus are dancing together in Leo, so a lot of things could be happening and exciting and, you know, skippity doo dah. But I'm telling you, I just really feel that any lovers that are draining, no, I don't think people are going to be playing with draining lovers. What I'm talking about, you know, is vibrational differences between two. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's been kind of draining on all of us for a while, and I just don't think anybody's going to put up with draining lovers right now. <laughs> I just don't see it, man. You know, let the high flyers play with the high flyers and let the drainers play with the drainers. You know, I've been saying that for years. But anyway, 
Gonna take a little look, see I love right here with my cancers. I feel good. Hope you do too. Let's tune in. Hey, Terry, love team. Cancer's here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for the highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Cancer see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Cancer's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Well, we had a jumper right here. Three of Pentacles came out. Three of Pentacles is about working on a foundation of something that's in that's important to you with somebody else. Generally, this has got uh, more than one person in this card. With this deck, there's only one person, so I don't know. Maybe somebody's got some kind of business idea, Cancer. We're going to see what's going on right here. I'm going to shuffle them up here a little more. I want to cut the deck. And then I'm going to throw out five card movie spread uh, with the Gilded Royale. I'm going to throw a clarification on that with the Witch's Tarot. Another five cards. Some love cards. Major Arcana. Here we go. We're going to cut the deck right here. Three Pentacles showed itself. What have we got? Cancer, love. What have we got right here, love team? Cutting the deck. What's on the bottom of the deck for Cancer? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. Well, the high priestess came out here. Oh, somebody's dreaming. It's a Cancer card. I love this guy's art. It always shows me like somebody's being drawn, you know, by spirit, by source, you know. It can talk about um, telepathy, huh? Huh, Cancer? You know, uh, silence in the 3D, mm -hmm. secrets. You know, that Three of Pentacles could say somebody wants to come in here and give my Cancer an offer, but there was two other Pentacles there. Anyway, got the High Priestess and. She's always here to uh, enlighten us and definitely let us know to use our intuition right now, huh? Let's do it. Five cards for Cancer, love team. What's going on with Cancer and love? Here we go. First card out. Six pinnacles. <laughs> hey, what's all these coins going on around here, Cancer? Somebody, somebody's got an idea. Somebody's got an idea. This is a great philanthropist for me to begin with, right? The great philanthropist of the tarot deck. Six pinnacles. All these coins coming up. Somebody's got an idea. It's really what I'm feeling right here. You know, business idea, huh, Cancer? You know. Um, six pinnacles, though, can be, you know, eyes wide open, right? Let's uh, watch for equal give and take. Could be about love. Definitely about a coin right here. Yeah. There's an offer coming in. I don't know. Let's make sure. You know, with the high priestess right in there, it's like, mm, eyes wide open, huh, Cancer? All right. Great philanthropist. Let's make sure we get equal give and take with six pinnacles. What do we got? Four swords. Well, that could very well be somebody, you know, that uh, taking a break from. Because there wasn't equal give and take. Four Swords is about healing the heart and healing the mind. It's quiet time. May have got an offer right now. Cancer. Thinking about it. Taking a break. Talking with Source. Very interesting cards right here. You know, contemplating equal give and take. What do we got? What's going on here? Six Cups, man. Yeah. Ooh, love is in the air. Love is in the air, six cups. Sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet. Is this that old classic story right here? Somebody didn't give equal give and take, Cancer? That you took a break from right here? Four swords, loving on yourself first. Mmm, my Cancer right there. Now all of a sudden we got somebody with sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet with their cancer. 
You know, that's it, huh? Don't know what you got until it's gone. Gonna see a lot of that right now, like I said. The lover's doing a dance over there in Leo. Gonna be a lot of people wanting to say hi one more time. What do we got right here? Cancer got a six of cups. Oh, it's the Emperor. Here I come to save the day. Yeah, the Emperor's in the house. Uh, <laughs> Aries seated in their power. Wow, the old Emperor right here. Uh, male or female got six of cups going on in their head, Cancer. Because Cancer took a break from them. They don't know. They don't know if you're going to use that sword to cut the rest of it off. You know, the emperor, yeah, I would say the emperor, you know, male or female, they're the ones that are pursuing. So, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of divine feminine got off course, you know, when the empress got up out of the throne and started chasing the old emperor around. I think the empress went and sat down, got back in their throne, know their worth, start using law of attraction a lot more efficiently, a lot more effectively. Seems to be drawing, seems to be drawing the old emperor in right here, if this is resonating with you, Cancer. I like it. Let's see what's going on with the emperor. You definitely took a break from him. Gone Zen here. <laughs> here we go. What's going on with the emperor? My Cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got? One more. Oh, it's a, it's a golden coin right here, Cancer. <laughs> I don't know if I like it with that little weasel right there. You know. <laughs> but uh, is, is, is that, oh, it's that three pinnacles that came out there earlier, huh? Yeah, they, they got an offer right here for you. Uh, you know, a lot of love does, uh, you know, manifest around work. <laughs> Now, the Emperor's definitely got some, some work right there for my Cancer. I, uh, you know, doggone it, Cancer. I got a moon right here, you know, which is eyes wide open. It's a Cancer card. It, again, the High Priestess has come out and the moon has come out. And that is definitely about use our intuition. This Emperor right here may be giving you a, a very large offer. I'm looking for cups, though, because I'm trying to do a love reading here. <laughs> but it appears, Cancer, that they, they want to give you this big, giant coin. They want you to go to work. I don't know, man. Let's see what's under the moon right here. Three wands is underneath that. <laughs> oh, cancer. Oh, my goodness. What's going on? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think cancer's going to play with this old emperor right here, whoever that is. They're coming in with a big golden coin, you know, the big offer that took so long to come in. Because that other three pinnacles that jumped down, it showed two other pinnacles in the background, right? Then there's that coin being offered. And I got a moon, which means it's a smoky trail. Use your intuition right here. Smoke and mirrors. Do you have your eye on somebody else? The cards say you may. So you got three wands right here. What you looking at, Cancer? I don't think it's this emperor down here, you know. The old, the old, you know, you took a break from them already. It's right here, man. Because there wasn't equal give and take. And maybe Six of Cups says that, I don't know, maybe they play on your emotions a little bit over here to get what they really want. That. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> That's what we're all getting rid of right here. That clingy, here, do it my way or the highway. And here's a big promise that you've been waiting for a really long time. But I got, you know, and playing off of this, man. 
I don't like it. See the moon's on top of that six cups. Man, this is what we're all going to be done with, all this emotional draining right here. You're already done with it. They're coming in with one last shot. You already know they don't play right with you. Anyway, I got somebody right here, Cancer. Shh. We won't let the emperor know. Somebody's looking at something right here, Cancer. Three of Wands. You know, this is about uh, deciding to possibly put all your heart, soul, and strength into something different. I say something different because I got Ten of Cups right there. And then I got, you know, the Knight of Cups coming out behind that, Cancer. And there's somebody over here to make your heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. I see it. I see it. All right, looking at my ten cups. That's my happy ever. Working like a dog right over here, you know, under the moon. I already had enough of that, Mike. I'm done. I'm taking a break over here. I'm not playing that anymore. They're gonna offer though, you know. I mean, it's okay to say no. Cause what's this? <laughs> what's this? This is love, man. Yeah, this is love. You know, it's definitely talking with Source about it. I know you're talking with Source about this person right here. Well, you're dealing with this right over here. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I don't think you're going to be dealing with it long, Cancer. Tower, <laughs> tower. Yeah, that's sudden change. That's sudden change right there. That's Aries. Scorpio, Major Arcana, kaboom! You know, Tower shows up when shit went on way too long. Boom, Tower. Interesting right here. On Ten of Pentacles, which could be absolutely... Something that my cancer worked on for a very long time. Trying to get to your ten of pentacles, right? That's the quintessential universal dream. The little white picket fence and the big pink house, right? But, uh, it, see, it appears to me that the emperor is just now getting around to offering the golden coin, male or female, which just is like enough's enough. Boom, I don't think I'm ever going to get over here to this Ten of Pentacles with this individual. I've known it for a very long time. I've known that they don't play right with me for a very long time. Oh, here you come with the moon one more time. And, you know, my way or the highway, boom, here's your coin. I don't know. Cancer could be like, no thanks. Have my eye on something over here. <laughs> All these cups. Shifts over to cups, not coins. This is what's rare. Love is rare. Not coin. It's everywhere. But anyway, let's go get love. Give me a couple of uh, clarifiers here with the Witch's Tarot. It's pretty clear to me. I'm going to end something right here, man. So you can go right on over here. Now, give me something. Give me something. All right. All right. I, I see exactly what's going on here. Give me something. Let's see what's going on with the old emperor right here. huh? Here we go. What have we got? The six swords, man. I'm done with all that. Done with all that. Six Swords is about moving on. Coming out of choppy waters. Heading in a new direction. I know where you're heading to right here. See? Gonna get in that boat. Look at it. It's right there. It's like, I'm gonna go get in that boat. And I'm gonna take a love offer here. <laughs> I'm gonna take a love offer here to somebody who makes my heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. Wow. Oh, uh, there it is right there. The world card, major arcana, major life force card, comes at the end of the major arcana. You have to go through all 21 steps of the major arcana to get to the world card. It talks about old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. Definitely talks about cancer seeing themselves as this golden angelic being right here. Well, it's green man right here. Seeing the world as your oyster and ooh la la, 
Wow. Here's my pearl of great prize. Gonna have to get in the boat, though. <laughs> Gonna have to get in the boat and go get him, Cancer. I love it. I love it. Got a king of swords. Does that mean anything to you, Cancer? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, my God, and the star. Wow. This is like uh, Aquarius all over this, Cancer. Just saying, may mean something to you, may not, but, you know... It is absolutely about cutting shit out of your life that's no longer serving you for your highest good. Let's just be real with what's going on right here. It's about solid communication. It's right here, six swords. Moving towards your star, great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. It's right here, Cancer. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. Uh, and there it is. Is this you? Is this you right here? Look at this three pinnacles again. Is this you doing the work right now? Uh, the, the alchemist jug right there. You know, yeah, I see it, man. I see it right here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I just, I just looked at the Queen of Love right there. Wow, Cancer, man, this is really nice. Happy for you. A little challenging. But towers coming in here so that the star can come. We don't get the star. I gotta tell you, one more time. We don't get the star unless you've been through hell fire. Go get your star, Cancer. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The love card, Cancer. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because you deserve love. You deserve love, Cancer. Oh, my goodness. You deserve love. It's gorgeous. Now, of course, this can be vice versa, but you guys know tarot. Here we go. Cancer, love, man. What do we got? Finances and career. I'm telling you, it was all kinds of coin down here. Six coins, ten coins, a couple of ratons on that on that chest of coins right there, huh, Cancer? And the golden coin, which finally came from the emperor, right? Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. What? One more. One more, Cancer. Go get your lover. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Attraction. Look at that. Attraction, of course, it's a law of attraction card. It's about being in the now, being in the moment. My favorite book, by the way, is Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now. It's free. It's on YouTube. Attraction. Look at him smelling the roses. It's about let the past be in the past. This is definitely the past right down here, all these coins. So somebody, somebody got my cancer all locked down for a freaking coin. There's sweet love up here, man. Smelling the roses, being in the now, being in the moment. And, you know, this card is about let the past be in the past, be in the now, be in the moment. And it's also about not putting, you know, an ending to your story. Letting it unfold, right? But being in the now and being in the moment. It's so vital, you know. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Here we go. Give me a, give me a major on this for my cancers. Gonna go get your lover. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, I'm excited to see what's going to happen when old Jupiter comes back into Aquarius. That happens on the 28th of this month. Cancer, what do we got? Don't work too hard, Cancer. Heed my advice. Go get love. This is resonating with you. Coins everywhere. Here we go. What do we got? The sun came out. <laughs> hey, Cancer, the sun wants to shine on you. You know, you need to get outside and play for that to happen. Yeah. Leo may mean something to you, may not. Wow, I got the world card again. There's our world dancer right there. Again. You know, this is about old cycles ending. So that new cycles can come in. You have to go through all 21 steps of the major arcana, huh, Cancer? And then it comes back to the fool again. 
that fresh start, that new beginning, that leap of faith. I see it right here. It's a cancer that needs some encouragement about a leap of faith right here. Here it is. It's a major arcana. It tells me that, that you have passed all the tests that the gods have laid before you, cancer. Now it's time to go get your star. Go get your dream. It's about seeing the world as your oyster and ooh la la. Here comes my pearl of great prize. Really happy for you. Oh my God. See, it's the lovers. It's the lovers right here. Wow, 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 wow. Beautiful stuff, Cancer. Go get your lover. I love you. Namaste. Love and light. Bye for now.